what's going on guys it is elijah fitz and welcome back or well, welcome to this video i don't do these kind of videos often um and that's because i i don't know why actually like i know i've filmed these type of things in the past but I have never actually released them and if I have I've taken them down I have talked about it in extremes and um, vlogs before but very briefly uh, I struggle with depression and anxiety I'm on various medications and I've been for a very long time I guess I really should start at the beginning my name is Elijah I'm 20 years old and I'm from Toronto Canada I was born in Richmond Virginia but I was adopted but that probably doesn't really matter to a lot of you um i am currently a film student and i struggle i struggle a lot and for whatever reason there's something in me that makes it so damn hard for me to admit it as I've, I'm also very dehydrated at the moment so water I just almost dripped that all over my microphone that wouldn't have been great because I just got this um, I don't even know if my voice is being picked up but that's okay I'm using the Rode Wireless Go with the Rode Lavalier mic, so you probably can hear everything from uh, the rubbing of my shirt to putting the pen down to just go like that. I don't really know because I can't actually hear the audio. I could have put it in a microphone, but I don't want the headphones in the shot. See, that's my problem. I get I get distracted often, and anytime I've sat down to do one of these uh, one of these more serious videos, that is what happens. I get distracted and. I deviate from what has to be said, what is being said. Uh, and I don't know why exactly that happens, but it, it just does. Um, and I think it has to do with how I'm wired. Okay, so everybody and this, this is what I believe. Everybody is wired differently. No two people are the same. I could also be very wrong. I'm not a doctor. So I wouldn't actually know if that is the case. But I'm 20 years old and I've been through enough hell and enough shit to probably tell the world my point of view and I know for a fact that once you say an opinion about something a bunch of people just fucking immediately turn to you and go really you're wrong and I'm prepared to be told that I'm wrong 
although someone tells me my own experiences are wrong and how I feel is wrong, I think there would be a problem. The one thing I hate, the, one of the things I, I should say that I hate in life is when I feel a certain way. I'm not talking about everyone or other people. I'm talking about me specifically, like this whole video is me and that might sound self-absorbed and like selfish, but this is my experience, my point of view, my story. And I am perfectly, perfectly fine with that. But I, uh, one of the things I hate in life, <sighs> besides being you all, uh, being gone, being tired every single time I sit in front of a camera. Oh, but it's the fact that if I feel a certain way about something, like let's say I don't feel good and I feel like my stomach's hurting, and then someone tells me. Well, that's not the case, your stomach isn't hurting and you should feel this way. I hate when people do that. Like, no one should go around telling people how to feel. Uh, like, if you feel ill, no one should come to you and be like, well, you don't feel ill, so get back to work. Now, if you're a doctor and you're at a doctor's appointment, and you tell your patient that they probably shouldn't be feeling ill so that you don't know why they are feeling ill. I would understand that. Like, I completely understand that. But if you're just a random person or a classmate um, or a fellow employee and you're just like, and, you, and they, or you or they come up to someone or you, and they're just like, so, I already don't feel good. Well, you should feel perfect. You should feel perfect. Now get back to work. Then I would have a problem. Because I know for me, if I have a stomach ache, I don't like being told that I don't have one, even though I can feel it. Like, I. I can feel how my body reacts. Someone else can't feel how my body reacts because they're not me. They don't have access to my body um, unless they do. And in that case, actually, that would be very freaking weird and creepy. So I'm just going to go with no one has access to how I feel because my body reacts differently. And probably no one should be known cow. I don't know. I think what I'm trying to say is I hate it when I am told how to feel. And that ever since I was young, that's been a problem for me. Like. like if I don't feel good don't tell me how I'm supposed to feel if I have a lot of work put in front of me don't tell me I'm supposed to feel this way when I clearly feel anxious just don't come up to me when I'm anxious and be like you shouldn't feel anxious it's not that a lot of it's not that hard of work it's not a lot of work because at the time it's probably a lot of work. Sometimes it's not a lot of work and uh, I do feel anxious like here. I will show you. So this is my journal and for audio people I do apologize uh, that you can't see this but this is my journal. It is the moleskin expanded. That's how thick it is. It's thick. It's intimidating. 
Well, I don't know. Like, this is a sticky note sheet. Um, this isn't really intimidating, it's a sticky note sheet. But to me, this is probably one of the smallest intimidations in my life. I like how it looks, I like the sleekness of it. But there's a lot of paper in here and I don't know what to do with it. But that's not even the point. What intimidates me, how I feel, when I get anxious, when I get depressed. That's, that's just how I'm wired. And to be told that I probably shouldn't feel that way is, it's beyond me. It's, I don't know why. It just bugs me so much when people do that. Um, but ever since I was young, and it got way worse when I got older, um, when, wow, not sure why I yawn every single time I get in front of a camera. Maybe film isn't for me. Um, when someone came up to me or comes up to me and tells me how to feel, I just, my mood goes from like that, it just goes, are you bloody kidding me? Don't tell me how to feel. And that's, I don't even know why it's been a thing that bugs me. It seems like a very stupid thing to get annoyed by. Um, but I think that's just part of who I am. I tend to get annoyed a lot when people tell me what to do. So if you, like if you, if someone tells me to do a bunch of paperwork, my first reaction is, no, you do it, or get someone else to do it. Because I ain't doing it. And then I do it. Although, no one ever comes up to me and asks me to do a bunch of paperwork. Because I don't have a job that requires a lot of paperwork. Um, but that's not the point. Going back to what I said at the beginning of this, since I was young, I uh, struggled with depression, anxiety, um, and that, and that is something that I found very hard to admit. Like I've admitted to some people in my life, like my family and uh, my close friends. But anytime I sit in front of a camera and I talk about it, it's something that really bugs the crap out of me. Um, and I'm not entirely sure why that is, but it just is. Holy crap. It bugs me to know that I have anxiety and depression. I'm just putting those two together. Wow. Holy crap. The things you find out about. Wow. I never even realized that. I never put the two together. I never put 
the fact that me having anxiety and depression bothers me. What? What? Oh my god. That is fascinating. That is really freaking fascinating that I I'm kind of sucks that I just put that two the two and two together, but I never said it out loud. And I don't like I don't want people to take this the wrong way. Um and think that I'm telling people how to feel, uh, telling people what's right and wrong. Because I'm not. I'm not doing anything. Um, I am aware that some people may hate me for this, but uh, they will not like me for doing this. <sighs> but I don't care. I mean, I do care, but I don't care. Because, like I said at the beginning of the video, and like several times throughout this, I am doing this because I want to talk about my point of view, how I feel. I'm talking about myself, not about how other people should deal with things. I'm talking about how I work, how I think how I operate, how I deal with things. And I think that's perfectly reasonable um, to do. Anyways guys, I'm gonna end this segment off here. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, audio podcast thing. Probably gonna put this as part of my uh, story unsolved. I'll talk to you guys later.